Hello, I'm Art Brooks, and welcome to my channel. Tonight it is a star party at a Oasis uh, State Park, uh, New Mexico, just north of Portales, hosted by the Clovis New Mexico Astronomy Club. As you can see here, we're setting up telescopes. We have two from the club. We also have a visitor who also brought his own scope. He's also there with his son. You know, other than a few clouds, uh, the skies are very clear. It's very calm, so we should have a very pleasant night for the start party. So, Next, let's get a description of these scopes. What's the power of this scope here? Uh? Eight inch, but yeah, but the, the yeah, power of it. Yeah, but I don't know. It depends on the zoom. Okay. It's a twenty-eight to. Okay, well. Twenty-four is an inch. Focal length. It's going to be 24 millimeters divided by uh, 48 inches. Okay. And the power of the scope here is what? Uh, it's a nine and a quarter. Nine and a quarter, but the, uh, the power, uh, I guess, depends on your eyepiece. Sure. Yeah, it also has automatic tracking. Yep. Yeah, it's a Celestron Nextdoor Evolution mount. It's an Altaz mount. Mm -hmm. um, it, can, it can carry, um, easily carry 22 pounds, which is kind of what this scope weighs. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got the, the heavier tripod to go with the Okay. And, um, I've got. This eyepiece is just in there for alignment purposes. Okay. It's got cross here, isn't it? Uh -huh. um, so today I'm going to use, use 40 millimeter for wide view, a 50 millimeter, and a 13 millimeter. Okay. So the power depth varies depending on that, on the eyepiece. Okay. Magnification is approximately 50 to 150 depending on what you select. Yeah, okay. 50 to 150, okay. What's the power of this scope? No idea. No idea? It's an uh, Maybe 8 hundred... inch Dobsonian. Yeah. And I got a 17 millimeter eyepiece. So it's probably about 100 power, maybe? Sure. Roughly, okay. I know it looks at things. Okay. That's all I care about. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, tonight we'll be able to see just two planets. Uh, Venus and Mars, they appear in the west sky after sunset. Zoom in here, you can see Venus is just barely showing right in the center of the screen. Yeah, Mars is Mars, uh, not quite dark enough to, it's not quite dark enough to see uh, Mars, it will later on. So we may, we may get a view of that. And the moon, the well, uh, moon will not, will not be uh, visible until after one o'clock, it's in the last quarter. And, uh, Saturn and uh, Jupiter, uh, they, they rise very late at night, so this may not be covered in this video, but we'll, we, we may try. Okay, currently we're viewing Venus on the scope, so we'll see if it shows up on the camera here. Yeah, you can see a little dot at the, at the top of the screen, that that is Venus. Appearing like a yeah, half moon. As it continues to get darker. We're having more people show up, and so we'll, we'll get this uh, telescope uh, aligned. It has, to, it has to be first calibrated so that we can uh, set it on uh, what object we want to set it on. That takes some time. And at the same time, the Venus is getting a lot brighter. Mars is starting to become very visible. It may not be able to see it on the screen. 
Yeah, we get dark here. It should show up on the uh, video. Okay, the skies are getting darker, and Venus is very uh, bright, appearing in the sky. And Mars is starting to become visible. We zoom in on the uh, on Venus. We can start to see Mars. At the center of the screen, you see a little white dot in the very center. That is Mars, and of course, and that of course is Venus. Maybe get the scope set up on them, and we'll get a view of them. And now we've got the telescope on uh, Venus. Let's see if I let's see if it shows up. Or... You might want to look. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Get closer so I can get into focus. Yeah, just very, very distinguishable. Looking like a half moon. Probably about the best I can do on this. I just saw it. Yeah, best I can do. Okay, we just changed eyepieces, so I might get a better view in the same telescope. It was way off or on the side, too. Okay. Yeah, much better. Yeah, it looks like a better view. There it is. Let's see if I can get a sharper view of it. <laughs> Yeah. How about the best I can do there? Okay. Hey. Skies continue to get darker and the center of the screen you can see two stars. That's a you know Pollux and Castor, the twin head stars and the constellation Gemini, the twins. And then coming in the center of view is uh, Venus and the center of view is Mars. Mars is becoming more visible, so again there's, there's Mars. In Venus. It is a view in the west after sunset. Well, I'm back home again. Unfortunately, the uh, temperature got too cool for me, so I had to leave. Didn't stay as long as the others did, so maybe they stayed up later to uh, view Saturn, and, I'm, oh, and if so, I missed that. So, at least later in the summer, we'll have more star parties where we'll, Saturn will rise earlier, and we'll get a chance to see it, and I'll get a video clip. To add into the uh, video that, those star parties so keep on watching and uh, i hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching